There is a looming threat on the horizon. The impact would be enormous. A very devastating, uh, cascading series of events. Airplanes would be grounded. But eventually, the power grid would stop operating. First responders would have a hard time getting to emergencies, finding your house. It is a trillion dollar risk that our economy is facing. Our economy comes to a halt in, within a month. Because we couldn't move data, we couldn't move people, and we couldn't move goods. No one would have cell service. The number you have dialed. Is the government doing enough to address this? No. They're talking about GPS, the United States Global Positioning System. The uh, vulnerability of GPS, both jamming and, and spoofing, is a real considerable uh, threat to the country and needs to be taken seriously. Admiral Thad Allen chairs the nation's advisory board on position, navigation, and timing. Our entire economy could sink if the civilian signal is compromised. More than two dozen top experts sounding the alarm about threats to the system. We are not seeing fewer incidents of disruption. We are seeing far more. Until something happens, people aren't aware that there's a vulnerability. Well, as what usually happens, uh, you deal with the wolf that's closest to the door. Where in the world are we? GPS brings us down to earth with precise location. But position and navigation are only half the story. The better question is, when in the world are we? GPS is the nation's hyper-accurate clock. And without it, major systems would go out of sync or stop altogether. It's about time to realize it's about time. We're talking about billionths of a second. A failure of that timing signal from GPS could cause cascading blackouts across the nation because the plants that power your home are synced to the same GPS signal that is used to time every single trade on Wall Street. The stock market would shut down. Yep. Banks couldn't do transactions. Nope. The United States right now does not have a redundant GPS or timing system. That's correct. The GPS is it. Yes. These 31 satellites, if something happens to them... We're toast. Place. We're toast. Do we have a backup system for this currently in the United States? Not a single backup. Brad Parkinson should know. He invented GPS half a century ago for the military. The GPS utility and usefulness has kind of crept into society and the average citizen doesn't ever see it. They don't even know it's there. They don't realize the harm that would be done if it suddenly weren't. The GPS signal is so faint, experts say it's easy to jam. GPS signal is a tenth of a millionth of a billionth of a watt. Or overpower with fake coordinates. Over one month, there were 41,000 Boeing, Airbus, and other aircraft uh, that were affected by GPS spoofing. For less than $100, you can build a spoofer jammer capable of taking out any GPS receiver, no matter how expensive it is, anywhere. Including on an airplane loaded with passengers. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And all of a sudden, uh, uh, an airplane doesn't know where it is. That, that's a problem. We've had cases in the maritime where uh, the actual position of a ship is shown to be inland. Shown to be inland? Yes. Russia and China both have extensive backup systems, while we have none under U.S. control. Our adversaries know we are at risk. Experts want to bring GPS back down to Earth, literally. Phone companies propose using cell towers as a GPS backup, one of many land-based solutions. The broadcasters have a solution to this? Yes, we have. The solution is something that we call BPS, and that is uh, for Broadcast Positioning System. Television towers already send signals out across the nation. Sam Matheny and the National Association of Broadcasters invented a GPS backup, embedding precise time information into TV broadcasts. In essence, the exact same timing signal that is transmitted via a GPS satellite, except we're doing it from a television tower. That system is capable of carrying time that's as good as what you get from GPS. Uh, it shows great promise. It has great accuracy. The infrastructure is already in place. The GPS Advisory Board has been recommending a backup system for decades. The alphabet soup of agencies responsible for GPS have not yet taken that advice. I think there's going to be a reckoning. Everyone in that room is concerned about this. You betcha. And right now, all you can do is advise. That's correct. You can't actually take action. No. The urgency is now. We've got to get it on. 
It's all about timing and a signal as invisible as the threat just over the horizon.